Hello, it's Kevin here, the heavier part of Goblins of Creation. Today I'm going to do a kiss pour. As you can see, I've got uh, my little uh, silicon cups. Uh, great idea for uh, saving the planet. Re uh, reusable unlike plastic cups. And I'm using squeezy bottles because you never use all the paint and putting cling film across the tops of cups is, uh, well, just not as effective really. Uh, and of course very handy for, for squirting the stuff out rather than tipping the stuff out of, of cups when you've mixed it as well. The colours that I've got today are the uh, Bold Me Silver Acrylic uh, and I'm putting it up against a Art Discount Black Acrylic in the other pot. And both of those I'm mixing with uh, Daily Rowney System Free Fluorescent Blue and Fluorescent Pink. And uh, the base coat is going to be uh, Actually, I've got to remember what, how you pronounce this. Paybeo uh, white acrylic, and as you can see, I'm just going to put uh, it on the on the canvas so that the, we've got something to float the the colours onto when we do a kiss pour. Uh, the idea of a kiss pour is you've got two cups and you put the spouts together as if they're kissing, and then you pour it down onto the uh, onto the canvas in a single stream of paint. Uh, one thing I didn't think about when setting up the camera is from the side you're not going to see much of the pour. So uh, apologies, uh, you'll, <laughs> you can see one cup and you'll see it uh, hit the canvas, but uh, my, my big fat hand is basically blocking your view of the, uh, of the, of the kiss itself. Uh, obviously another PDA not, not suitable for YouTube. As you see the colors are get going down nicely. Um, the thing about the pour is that you've got the uh, You've got a mixture of the the layers that you put in the cup and the, the pull of the paint through the spout, which isn't linear. It, it pulls it from almost like from the back and then and brings it brings it across. So you get a very nice uh, nice sort of uh, pattern emerging as the, as it spreads across the canvas. Sort of layers, uh, you know, concentric layers. Right, I'm just going to burn off a couple of bubbles, and also this will also start any cells as well. I've not put any silicon in this so any cells uh, will come from the uh, the flow troll or, or from the acrylic itself. What I want on this one is I'm sort of going for a sort of star fieldy look so I want the white to pop through uh, as cells almost like little stars uh, on, on the canvas. It's not a very big canvas so uh, hopefully the <laughs> they won't be too big otherwise it's gonna look like someone snowed on it. So here I am just moving that paint around, making sure I, I coat the corners. And uh, well, we can see uh, that the pink and the black from the, the first cup have made a sort of a, a nice red, really. Uh, the silver and the blue from the second cup seem to have made a sort of steel gray color, which is quite nice. Uh, and somehow the pink and the blue seem to have survived quite quite well uh, in that silver cup you can see those around the outside now I've decided which part of the pattern I want to center so I'm just trying to lose some of the paint off the side again checking that uh, I've coated all the edges uh, this, this is not going to be framed this is going to hang so you want the, the sides all to be nicely finished there we go just checking everything and last minute movement to center what I think is the best piece which is the the, the ready uh, mix along the canvas there and you can already see there's a couple of little white spots I'm just gonna see if I can encourage some more and there they come popping up from the corner in uh, funny enough when they uh, they did start to pop up a bit later they weren't around the edges as you can see, they're, they're in the middle, which is what I wanted. But uh, for some reason, they went a sort of yellowy white. Uh, 